Thanks for joining us. Um, did you describe to me what Climate Rush is? Uh, Climate Rush is a environmental direct action group um, inspired by the persistence um, and uh, campaigning ingenuity of the suffragette movement um, in the early 1900s. Um, we've been campaigning and uh, protesting since 2008 um, on various environmental issues, but the thing that, that pulls all our, our protests together is um, a fear of climate change and a desire to reduce the UK's carbon emissions significantly. <laughs> One of the interesting things I think you've been doing is every week you've been lobbying um, MPs at Westminster Chief Station. How's that been going? We have. Um, for about a year and a half now, we've been um, arriving at Westminster Tube at 8am every single Wednesday morning um, and just holding a chalkboard up um, outside the Minister's entrance to Parliament, um, asking them to raise a different environmental issue in the Prime Minister's question time every week. Um, and we have our regular uh, MPs who stop and chat every week um, and we've also had people saying you know keep up the good work what you're doing is making a difference in there um, and we hope to just kind of be a bit of a conversation starter so that people do um, always have climate change in their minds on their way to work because it's <laughs> it is probably the most um, the most crucial issue that they could be discussing in Parliament um, at the moment. So one of the other things you've been doing to raise awareness of climate change is various direct actions. Can you tell me about what you did in South End recently? Um, in, at the end of October last year we um, went to South End Airport which is, um, which is due to expand in a couple of weeks time um, to include lots more holiday flights to Spain um, and various places in Europe. Um, we went there dressed as air hostesses and pilots <laughs> and we stood on a, a public footpath um, zebra crossing in the middle of the runway. Um, don't ask me <laughs> how that planning permission got passed um, but we stood there and we sang a rendition of Britney Spears' as Toxic to highlight um, the environmental degradation that will happen as an effect of, of the airport expanding. So I hear you're singing was so bad they arrested you, is that right? That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I always suspected that my singing and dancing would get me arrested one day and it came true. <laughs> um, so one of the things about that, that protest, which is similar to some of the other things you've done, is dressing up it does seem to be a core theme in what you do. That's right. <laughs> um, we quite often try to include an element of dressing up, or at least um, fun and good-naturedness in our protests, because it, it, we think that it's really important that protests are something that people actually want to come along to, rather than feel obliged to, because it's the right thing to do. Um, and we find uh, dressing up is a good way of getting media attention, it's a good way of breaking the ice with people that you may not know on the protest, and um, we kind of think as protests of protests as social occasions rather than simply for political aims. So it's a way to meet other activists um, and to have a good time. So you mentioned kind of political aims. I guess, do you have a clear idea about what those aims are? We are, our biggest and main aim is um, to reduce carbon emissions. So anything that we can do that falls within that, we will do. Um, and we're very active. We do something almost every week. Um, and as long as it's raising the issue of climate change um, and trying to reduce those carbon emissions, we'll do it. So what's coming up? We're, um, we're taking on air pollution, um, which is a major contributor to climate change, but also brings in lots of other groups. Um, so we're hoping that health groups, um, cyclists, will come along to our air, uh, spring clean protest on the 19th of April um, at 6.30pm. We'll march through the streets of London and uh, declare the first ever clean air zone. So 6.30 where? 6.30 outside DEFRA, who are in charge of our air quality in the UK. That's great, thank you. Thanks very much.